proceed in with End of the Road Outdoors. And I'm coming to you live from Brady, Texas. Better known as the heart of Texas. I'm here to stand that we call the dried up tank. And obviously because there's a dried up pond just around the corner from here. But uh, I'm after a good management eight pointer that's been coming in this area pretty regularly. So um, hopefully on this cold morning he'll show himself. Wish me luck. starting to get on them or anything and uh, that way I can get them loaded up and pick up the other hunters on my way back in and, and you know not drag the day out so long so let's go get this sucker well that was pretty funny I just stepped out of the blind I'm walking around I'm gonna go try to find my arrow and I look up and I see this little buck coming through the woods and he, he just ain't paying no attention he walks right up on me 30 yards no clue <laughs> that was pretty funny but uh, I reviewed the footage and I seen my arrow pass through the deer and went about another good 15 yards past the deer so shouldn't be too far over here I'll go check it out Well, there he is, and wouldn't you know it, 
He landed right in an old road. Perfect. Let me go check him out. All right, well, here he is. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm a little disappointed in myself. This is not the buck that I thought it was. But, um, you know, I'm still proud of him. It was a good hunt. I made a pretty good shot on him. This is my exit wound. You can see it took some lung and pretty much drugging it right out of him. So that's pretty cool. But, you know, like I said, it's not the deer I was after. I thought it was. So I'm a little disappointed in myself on that. But all in all, it was still a good hunt. And I think this deer still should have come out of the herd. So, uh, I'm going to get the truck over here and load them up and go after another one.